live three times make sure you like share and subscribe what's up y'all listen i had to give me some pie pies again so don't judge me those of you that know know okay because we love us some chicken y'all and i got some crispy chicken here too hot fresh and ready i just had to do it again y'all forgive me but i'm gonna tell y'all what i've been doing and where i've been and what is going on in my life but anyways let me uh get me a, ba a thing right here because i'm not gonna eat all of this chicken but i'm gonna eat portion of it and i brought this one home yes i did so i could be able to eat my food comfortably y'all but we gonna talk today we gonna talk about jealous family members because it's it's crazy out here okay but anyways i got it sis and i'm gonna get a piece of this i'm gonna give me a wing i'm gonna give me a leg baby and you know I got to get that breast, okay? We going to get it in. I still got my seatbelt on. Let me just take this thing off because uh, it's Jesus. Oh, here we go. Woo! So I get real comfortable. Got to get comfortable. On. I wish I could put my steering wheel down. I don't even know why my steering wheel is not even going down. But baby, or I think it's all the way down anyways. But yeah, I got my hot sauce on deck. Can we say grace? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And say amen again to the people in the back, okay? In the view in the back. In the back, can y'all say amen? Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to find a balance with my life. Because right now, listen, every angle, I'm doing instant, I mean, well, I do IG, but I don't do IG like that because IG don't pay like that. But Facebook, IG tiktok youtube family home trying to take care of everything at home y'all it's gotta be a balance and i tell you the truth it's hard out there baby it is hard out there oh i got me some y'all y'all don't know i'm hungry right now i ain't ate nothing all day and typically i eat once a day when my work is done okay when my work is done that's when i be eating but y'all look at that fried chicken y'all see that it looks good don't it i wish i had it at home no oh oh mm. so good mm. it's good and hot oh mm. <coughs> mm. It's hot, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. But it's good. Woo. Go ahead. Woo. Mm. Anyway. Y'all, yeah, I have... Some of y'all know. We've been working on TikTok. And y'all. Over there. I'm making some nice money. Um, If I can grow this. Um, if TikTok stays. I know I can grow that to be a million dollar business. Because right now I'm making six figures. A real good six figures, like literally, in one week I made twenty three thousand, y'all, in seven days, twenty three grand selling products, and I know that if I had the time, and I know that TikTok wasn't going anywhere, I'm gonna put my all into that. But I also have to find found a balance to be able to do YouTube too, because YouTube is my money maker. Y'all know? Mmm. Huh. I make good money on YouTube as well. I ain't gonna front. So, um, oh, I just need to find a balance right now, cause I'm being pulled every which way. And then we have family out, and I'm trying to get the business. The business is growing, so we are at that point too, y'all. It is a lot going on. Ooh. 
And that's why y'all ain't really see me. But y'all, <clears throat> I am a hustler. And I'm making that bag right now. A good one, too. A good one. But I just got to find balance. People are pulling on me. Get this video, that video, this video. That. I'm like, danger. So, I have found balance with my work life. Also with my regular life. Y'all, I cannot go under being working, working, working and not giving myself a break. Mm, 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 mm. We can get bad out here. So, me and my husband go on a date night tonight. I'm going to see Six. It's a musical. So, we're going to do that tonight. Woo! That wouldn't, that wouldn't have been good. Mm, look at this piece. Yeah. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. This shit is good, y'all. Let's take a spot. Mmm. Mm. Mm. And tonight, right now, it's a little bit difficult because not difficult. I love my family being out here because it's helping us a lot, and we don't want them to go. But. Woo, Charlie. <coughs> like I said, I don't want them to go. We want them to stay longer. But um, you know how it is. When you have family over, um, it just throws everything off balance. You know? Your routine. Because when I'm recording, I got to have a quiet house. Nothing can be on. Nothing can be in the background. And it's hard to say that when you are used to talking because I do it all the time, y'all. If somebody's recording, I forget. When that person is recording and you're doing your normal thing, even if you're watching TV or television or coughing or anything, it's the background noise, you know? And you can't expect people to be quiet while you recording all the time. It just ain't gonna happen. And I don't expect that to happen. So, I'm used to working to like 8 o'clock at night, literally, y'all. I'll get up in the morning at like 7, shower, get my face together, and start working until 8 o'clock at night. Literally. Of hitting these videos out there. Oh. 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 Anyway. <clears throat> And um, I can't do that. Oh, this is so good, y'all. Woo! Mmm. But hot. So when people tell me, you know, I got it in me to get that money, but. Woo, I just got found balance, baby. Woo wee. So, I did do a little detox, y'all. I know y'all know what's and I ain't did no seafood. I did a little detox. And I was taking these pills, y'all. And these pills, they were working. They were working for me. Now, I ain't gonna say it worked for everybody. But it is over 60,000 views on these detox pills, right, on YouTube. And um, 
So I have lost. I went down two pounds, but I'm thinking it's from you know what, you know, getting everything out of me. <laughs> so mm. I've been detoxing off of that, you know. But I'll be back, y'all. I think ever so often you do a detox, come back. I haven't been eating a lot, but. I'm ready to start because I'm hungry. Mm. Start back eating and um, y'all will see me more. Hopefully. You know. I'm going to have to show up. Mm, 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 mm. So, y'all, needless to say, your girl just needs some balance. Um, Because I've been killing it on this TikTok. I mean, killing it. And that's why I told y'all. Y'all want to do these TikTok reviews? Y'all can. Don't don't listen to the background noise of people saying that stuff is Timu Shin and whatever. Woo woo, baby. I'm getting paid a big bag. And if you guys knew, if people knew how much money you can make over there, just reviewing a product, a product that you buy or purchase and you may like, and you just want to share it with others, I'm telling you. The money is unlimited now. It, it's gonna be sad if YouTube, I mean, TikTok can be no more. But I right, listen at this point, it is what it is. Get the money while you can. That's how I, what's this? What kind of hustler I am? I'm not thinking about what's gonna happen in the future. I live for today, and in that moment, I'm gonna get that bag, baby. If you're gonna give it to me, I'm gonna get it. Anything that you see me do when I put a lot of work in it, that means I'm making a, a whole bunch of money. Because I don't do nothing if I can't make a whole bunch of money. I'm going to be like, uh, that's not worth my time right now. I'm going to focus on something else that I could be like, okay, my bag is getting bigger. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I work. So anything my name attached to, y'all can call it greed, whatever you want. But I'm getting paid. So don't listen to the naysayers about you went from this to that. Baby, I just changed genres. And I'm still doing my other stuff too. I'm looking smarter. That's what I am doing. Call it what you will. But, yeah. Don't listen to them people talking about your bag. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff that. That I, that I get for TikTok. But trust and believe. I already, I brought like, I brought a thousand dollars worth of bins, y'all. Of bins that I can be able to sort my clothes. That's how many clothes, much clothes I have. And so my niece is out here. I saw her to go in my, my closet and shop. Listen, I'm going to get stuff out there. I want her to be able to fit on some things, get some things that she wants or whatever out of my closet yes and then my girlfriend and her kids they already been in my closet i'm having them over again and then i'm gonna donate more try to donate something to my church and then the appliances or stuff that i really don't that i did product reviews on i give them that stuff too I do. I'll be like, y'all need this? You want this? That's how I get rid of that stuff and not become a hoarder. You can become a hoarder real easily doing TikTok. I'm telling you, because I be having all types of stuff. And they be sending me all types of stuff. Now, that's why I don't like that. I, that part, I don't like, don't send me nothing that I ain't request. Because to me, it could be junk. Or it could be something I like, or you know, who knows? But I don't want no stuff that I I don't want wouldn't use in my house, and you giving me stuff. Cause these companies will give you any everything. Oh, you could use it. Try this out, and if you like it, do a review. Uh uh. Baby, keep your stuff. Cause I don't need it. I got no stuff. Look, dumb clothes on TikTok. Stop, be cute. 
I ain't gonna put them bones up there and kill. I promise you. Tell the business will tell you. I will call them. I will let them know. Message them. Tell them I'm not doing this product because it's cheap looking, and I know my supporters is not gonna want to buy that. If it's if it looks good and it feels good and it looks good on your body, I'm gonna wear it. But if it ain't, I promise you. I am telling them take your stuff back. I'm sending it back. And most of the time they tell you not to send it back. They'll say, just keep it. And then they'll, be, they'll understand. And they say, sorry, that probably didn't work out for you. I'll send you something else. Or when something else comes better. Um, mm. But anyway. Yeah. But, but you know what? Um, TikTok shop. You can get a lot of vendors, different variety of vendors, y'all. It's not only um, Timu. But actually, I've never done a Timu review. Never, ever, ever done a Timu review. I've done, I done, I do boutiques, y'all. I work with different boutiques on there. So, mm -hmm. and I haven't even done even Shein yet. Nothing came for Shein or on Kilo. Yeah. Now. Ugh. I work with boutiques and stuff like that. But yeah. It's fun, y'all. I enjoy doing it, but it's a lot of work. What you expect? You know. You gotta put a lot of work in stuff um, that you want to get paid money for. It's not hard, y'all. It's time consuming. Because sometimes I do eight videos a day. Eight videos in one day, editing and getting it together and changing clothes, doing your hair, makeup, making sure you're on point. You got to know what the item is and what it brings and study what the, you know, the sizes and the what it's made out of. And sometimes if it's stretchy, it's, not, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. I'm still hungry. This stuff ain't do nothing for me. I ate four pieces. Am I greedy, y'all? Come on, y'all, gonna tell you there. I'm ready really to have my seafood now back. I'm ready for a crab leg or two. Or some lobster tail. I am. Let me eat one more, y'all. So, y'all, let's talk about it. Let's talk about jealous family members. I know that's what some of y'all want me to hear me say. But, y'all, did y'all know? Listen, I was not aware that you could have family members, baby, oh my goodness, jealous of you. It's just hard to 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 understand you know for me it's hard to understand that you can have somebody in your family that's jealous of you because they're family like what it's hard for me to understand how a man can be jealous of his wife or his wife can be jealous of him that makes no sense to me first of all y'all in two different levels on two different levels you a male and i'm a female what can you possibly be jealous of me about that listen we ain't even the same category okay also i can't understand how a parent can be jealous of their children what don't you want better for your kids i want my kids to over over exceed in life like i want them to, to succeed so much that i want them to pass me don't you want that for your kids i don't understand that i don't understand uh siblings being jealous of siblings what 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 is it we have the same parent or parents so why are you so you know why would you be jealous of something like that it's just it's crazy to me but i feel that people that always thinking uh people that people that does not have jealousy in them 
cannot realize that people around them are jealous of them. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? It's hard to really realize like, okay, I wasn't aware that person was jealous of me. It's like other people had to tell you that. But even in then, you you in disbelief because you don't have jealousy in your heart. And so when people tell you that, you just be like, I really? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have it in your heart. But used to be a lot of people that you be like thinking like, dang, they be saying it, but you don't get it because it's not in you. So I'm going to try to tell you. And then you, you let me tell you something. Also, them people that are always saying somebody jealous of them. Girl, nine times out of ten, they insecure about themselves. They have some insecurities about themselves, and they're the ones that have that jealous beast in them, that jealous spirit, okay? Because ain't no way every time you look around, somebody, oh, you jealous. It's, it's like insecurities within, within them that need to figure it out, okay? Because I'm just like, that's just too much. Don't y'all know some people like that? They'll be like, always, everybody jealous of me. Everybody jealous. Like, girl, bye. Please. Or oh, boy, bye. Or whoever back but anyways i was reading the reason why i'm saying that y'all because i was i saw this story this is what happened that's what triggered it i saw this story on um youtube that said this guy killed his son and his mom because he was jealous of his son now this is a 12 year old boy this boy is super super and it's a black family i was so like what you don't hear like a lot of black families doing this let me tell y'all something i don't know I'm like, wait, is the thing changing? Because, y'all, it was a black family, and they were like 38, y'all. They have a 12-year-old boy. The 12-year-old boy is super smart. This boy was going over around the world uh, preaching, not preaching, but doing speech, uh, Martin Luther King speeches and stuff like that. Very successful, very successful. The boy is very, very articulate. He's very, very smart. I mean, got it going on, baby. Somebody calling me. That's my mama. I'm about to decline her. I'll call her back. Anyways, and so I'm just like, okay. So they he's doing all these speeches. She calling me again. Hold on, y'all. That was my mama. Oh, she's telling me some what you doing. Really, mama? I'm in here doing a I declined you and you still calling. I'm thinking it's a mercy. Listen, when she called me twice, I'm answering that phone, okay? Because we don't know what our parents is doing. Well, anyways. I digress. So, the guy, okay, he's successful too, and his wife. Okay, so he was a teacher, y'all. He was also a police officer, first grade teacher uh, in, in his past. And then his wife was a nurse for the military or something like that. But they were very successful. I'm talking about when you say, when I say the model family, they was a model family. Everybody looked up to them. They 12-year-old boy, killing it in the, uh, spelling bees killing it just just do going around the world uh you know doing the martin luther king speeches very i was like okay baby they said they didn't come in to work one day okay so the father had did a post on facebook they the father lied and said it was the boy that posted something on facebook and in this facebook um posted it said something about my mom took me away from my dad. My mom didn't believe in disciplinary and she didn't like that. So she took my life away from my son and I suffered and everything like this. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, something of that sort. And so come to find out, they said it wasn't the boy that wrote it. It was the father to disguise of what was going on. I don't know what it was. But at any rate, they found them dead, y'all. All of them was dead, okay? The, boy, the, 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 the father shot the mom in the head, bullet to the head, shot the 12-year-old a bullet to the head, and then shot himself. They said that the guy was jealous of the son, but I don't think that was the case. When I looked at the story, I don't think that was the case, and a lot of friends were saying they don't think that was the case either. They think that it was, they was having marital problems and the mom was probably saying, I'm going to leave you and I want a separation, but I'm taking my son with me. And he probably like, no, you ain't taking my son. I'm taking my son myself. And so he's like, if I can't have him, nobody going to have him. And you ain't going to have him. I ain't going to have him. We all going to go go together. And that's what happened. But in my mind, I'm thinking like, because in the thing, in the title, it did say he was jealous of the son. 
I don't really, I didn't see that, but who knows? You know, I don't know. But at any rate, but that's how I got into on, onto that. And then y'all, y'all heard about that Twitter girl. She, they said she was a YouTuber. She was, she was influencer. Had over, I think, a hundred thousand followers. Y'all, this woman killed herself on the eclipse, the day of the eclipse. So she was an astrologist influencer, astrology influencer, and she literally black girl. I said, what is going on with all these black folks? We don't do stuff like this. Or maybe we do, and I just ain't read about it. <laughs> Cause I, I don't, I don't recall us doing stuff like this. Like really? So she on all uh, April eighth on the eclipse day. She thinking she telling everybody, warning everybody it's gonna be the apocalypse and it's it's the end of the world. Y'all need to choose a side, pick a side, and all others. And she said this all on social media, right, y'all? On uh, April eighth, she in a car with her two kids. A uh, nine-year-old and an eight-month-old. The nine-year-old was holding an eight-month baby. She opened the car door and threw the baby and the kicked the baby and the nine-year-old out of the car on the expressway, the 405. This happened in Cleveland, Ohio. On the 405, y'all, threw the baby and the child out. The eight-month baby got ran over, killed, dead. The nine-year-old survived with injuries. Then she killed, wait, I forgot to tell y'all, she killed her, her her boyfriend as well, stabbed him to death. Stabbed him to death, y'all, and did the kids like that. Then she proceeded to drive on the expressway and crashed into some trees, y'all, and she was dead on arrival, okay? I, I said, what? What, what? What is going on? Yeah, I said this is it's too much. I mean, y'all, it's too much. It's like crazy. It's like what? It, it was crazy. So when I heard that, I was like, OMG. Okay. And being black, girl. Mm -mm. Not that. Not that black folks don't do nothing crazy. I know y'all. I don't want y'all to think. Yeah. And that's something on my day. I don't want y'all thinking I'm out here like, ooh, black folks don't do nothing. Why am I bitly coming back on? Ooh, sorry, y'all. Ooh, I got a burp. Man, anyway. I just thought I'd share that. Cause that stuff right there. I'm like danger. Mm-mm. So I was watching that. I be watching stuff like that. Watching. I know I shouldn't, but I do. I think that makes me aware of things. Like. But mm mm. The more I hear of stories like that. Um, the more I'm saying, you gotta be grateful for where you at. If you in a good situation, I mean, the little stuff we deal with is nothing compared to some stuff that other people have to deal with. If you really think about it, like I couldn't believe that I am murdered his family. When y'all saw this. If y'all saw that video, y'all would have been like, what? How? I mean, family looked normal. Like, really? We would have never expected it. Sad. And I don't really believe it was jealousy. I really do believe I'm like, how can you be jealous of your 12 year old son? Uh, but you do see it. So, uh, you see, um, I haven't seen mothers being jealous of their daughters, like, competing against them. Like, really? Girl, ain't no comparison. 
your daughter is like 16, 20 years old, and you sit up here being 40, 50, you can't compare. Baby, you had your time. You had your 16 year old time. You had your 20 year old. You been you you was you was there. But you ain't there no more. Let your daughter shine. Cause mm -mm. that's a sad thing we have to deal with. That's dangerous. When you have to live with somebody that's jealous of you, that's a danger. That's dangerous, y'all. You don't know if that person's going to try to kill you in your sleep. You don't know if that person is trying to sabotage your life. You don't know what's going on, baby. You don't know. So, that's that's a scary thing right there. That right there is scary. But, uh, I think I'm getting full. I think I, did, I think I needed to talk to get my stuff settled. But I'm going to finish this wing. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was watching. So, what y'all think about that? Um, jealousy of being jealous of family members, or being jealous jealous of spouses, or being jealous of parents being jealous jealous, jealous of their siblings, or siblings being jealous of siblings. What did y'all think? Have y'all ever? Ex have y'all ever experienced that? And if so, put down in the comments your experience. Because I'm going to read it because I, I'm just curious. Because it's crazy. And um, it's crazy. Because I don't think it, nobody deserves. Like, why can't why do people have to be that way? When Oh, excuse me. <laughs> y'all, that burp came up out of nowhere. It went through my nose. Anyways, why do people have to do that? Because... You could achieve anything anybody else can achieve. And one thing I've always known in life, anybody that has are is successful, don't be jealous of that. Just be like, you know what? And they don't even have to be success. Even their looks. They were blessed with beauty. Okay. They're beautiful. And then they, you know, it does it my thing is <clears throat> that's not gonna change anything. You not gonna just because they look so a certain way, you being jealous of them ain't gonna change nothing. Let them live, okay? That's what they were blessed with, okay? Or if you're jealous of their money or what they, their status, okay, you can achieve this as well, but sometimes it's just not your season. People have seasons. People have, you know, they were blessed, you know, that's their season. They deserve what, they, what they're what they getting right now. That's their life, you know? Either you can achieve it. If you don't achieve it, don't be mad because there's something else within you that I'm sure you could be good at as well. I just don't understand it. I never did understand it. And I don't care what nobody said. It's crazy to me because I feel that you coveting or at wanting someone or somebody else want is just something. It's crazy. You can may try to achieve it. And um, you're going to try to achieve it and do the same thing. That's what I'm saying. You can do the same thing. It's, it's money out here for everybody. Or, you know. When it comes down to looks, you can't get that. But still, it is what it is. I don't think that was, I don't know. But I ain't never had that in my life. Like, or, or trying to um, compete. What? We don't do that. That stuff can be, I can imagine that stuff can be stressful. Trying to compete against somebody else? Baby. I ain't got time. But I know it's a lot that out there. And if some of y'all dealing with people that's jealous of y'all and they're living in your house, I feel so bad for you. So bad. Because I already know that has to be, that right there has to be a stressful life. Or having family members that you got to be around. And they just, oh, my baby, no. Mm-mm. I already be by myself. Mm-mm. I don't need nothing around me. No. But, oh, this is taking good. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to stop ranting. 
I didn't hold these bones up. But I promise you, I still feel like I'm home. Somebody just parked right next to me. Y'all, I am in a parking lot by myself in an abandoned building. Well, it's not abandoned, but it's an abandoned restaurant. And they're still parked by me. What just happens? I should eat one more, y'all. This video is long, but I'm hungry still. I thought I wasn't, but I am. My stomach is like, I don't know. You know what? Maybe I should eat some mashed potatoes, but I don't know what it is. Oh, excuse me. Maybe I have to, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm still hungry. Or I don't. I, I'm not hungry. I don't feel a hunger pain. But I'm not satisfied. <laughs> mm. This is good. I love that white meat. And I so it's loud. I don't know about y'all. This day, this this year is going back so fast. Super fast. Super fast, y'all. And I'm like, dang. It's already almost a four. I'm saying that because I'm having a party. And already. I'm like, yeah. That's right around the corner. These months are going by so fast. Who's that? Is that on me? What is that? Dang. That was grease or something? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's my fucking meal. I didn't do a job now, did I? I didn't know who I'm coming out here. What are we do? Woo! It's really hot. I don't even know why I did that. Trying to get a bomb out. I'm going to leave it like that, y'all. Mm. I'm feeling weird stuff on my face, y'all. What is going on? Something. I all types of stuff on my face. I can't see. And let me drink some of this soda. Ooh, this is so good. I'm going to have to stop drinking these sodas, though. I'm going to tell you that. Because it's a lot of sugar. And I've been drinking soda since my parents been here. They've been in town. They've been with us since March 31st. And my dad likes... Um, He likes sodas, like... Um, Sprite, Seven Up, and also I've been buying cans of that and having in the refrigerator or Fanta strawberries, Fanta grape, and y'all, I've been eating, I've been drinking them bad boys, like, because it ain't nothing like having a cold pop. <laughs> y'all remember that? A cold pop. Anyways, so it's not like having a cold pop. Oh, y'all, let me show y'all this this wipe, and then I'm gonna let y'all go. My hands is dirty, baby. Mm. I need a, I need like, you know what? I be needing a floss, y'all. I be needing a floss. Okay. Oh. Girl. I can't get nothing on this pink. Baby, let me get nothing on my clothes. 
Because I don't want to change today. I really don't want to change. Okay. So. Dang. Come on now. Don't start messing with me. So I got this bowl, right? I don't know. Y'all, some of y'all see me on TikTok? Baby, I've been selling these like crazy. I'm going to sell this to you. So y'all see this right here, right? Y'all see this. Y'all, this right here. If you don't, if you're not convinced with this, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just selling these like hotcakes. I got 200 of these bad boys. 200, y'all. Dang. If I could ever get it open, this is this be making me mad. Like, why would you do this while I'm doing a video? Oh, excuse me, said the piggy. So y'all see this. This is like a little tablet. It's in just a tablet, y'all. And so here's this, y'all. So I got the tablet in my hand. Watch this. Y'all see that? Did y'all see that? This is a towel, y'all. Let me squeeze it out, cause right now it's getting not giving me justice. Cause I can't, I can't hold this and hold that and hold this. Y'all see that? And Danger, girl. Would you shut up? Also ask <sighs> My video. Y'all see that? Look at this towel. It's sturdy, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all best thing ever. The invention in this thing. This is the stuff I be looking for on, 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 on TikTok. Y'all, y'all tell me this ain't good. Cool. I brought 200 bad boys. You can get like 50 for $3. That is a win. If y'all got kids, if y'all are going to a restaurant, it, it, baby, these things work. Because all you got to put those pills in your pot, in your purse. That's all you got to do. They not, they look like pills, but they like pills or mints. But y'all, those are the best thing going. Y'all want to go there? Go over to my page and go get you some. <laughs> go get you some. I ain't playing. I am not playing, baby. Go get you some off my page on my TikTok. Follow me on TikTok for more. For more. And y'all, now people from um, Amazon is reaching out to me. This is why I said, listen, listen, we got to work, work smarter and not harder. And when I tell you, listen, TikTok people, I should pull this out there. This man sitting right next to me enjoying his meal. Like, why are you following me? I'm going to throw this water out. He probably like, ooh, she is ghetto. But I am not. I'm just trying to get this out. I want this water in my car. Okay, let me pull this in. Y'all going to hear my car go on. Let me roll this out. He probably like, ooh, ghetto. I did it. I did it, y'all. At any rate, so, um, what would I saying? Oh, yeah, I brought 200. Oh, I said, uh, Amazon is trying to reach out to me. So, I said work smarter, y'all, because you know. So, if YouTube, TikTok going under, baby, I'm going to be on Amazon, okay? Now that I know how this works, Amazon, give me a few of your products, baby. They trying to get me to work for them now. I didn't send me a juicer, y'all. A full juicer. This chocolate juicer is nice too. I be getting things like y'all, two, three hundred dollar things sent to me. Electronics. They giving me iPads, not iPads. <laughs> no, I wish I would. No, but they giving me uh, um, Android, like 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 Samsung Androids pads, like literally ten point one inches. That they want me to do reviews on that. I ain't paying money. They giving me this stuff. I'm getting uh, grills, griddles, baby, uh, uh, kitchen appliances, gadgets and gadgets that I'm just like, okay, baby. And tick and Amazon is sending me stuff, and I'm just like, y'all, I don't know if I'm coming or going. That's just that's just it. I just gotta find a balance. But when TikTok, baby, just believe me. I'm re I'm trying to get a good report with the Amazon people. So yeah, baby, come on, come on, use me. Give me some more of your products, cause I'll do it. 
because I have not one thing about it. I know that it this does accumulate a lot of stuff, but I have my girlfriend because she needs stuff. It's almost like I would see things in my family if they need stuff. I'd be like, girl, let me. I got I got her a pet. They sent me this pet thing, but I got her a pet feeder. Pet. You don't you don't get no pets, but my girlfriend do. And then this baby thing, I just gave it to my my girlfriend. You know, if she needs something, baby, I got you. What you need? What you need? I'll do a review on that for you. You know what I'm saying? If I could do a review on it, give it to her damn or whatever. I got Darius vacuum cleaner. Uh, I, uh, I got two of them big rugs that you had. Y'all, I be giving stuff away. Trust me, I be giving it away. I ain't no hoarder. I ain't trying to be no hoarder. I ain't trying to accumulate all that stuff at my house. Because you could easily do it. It can easily be done. Oh, yeah. Get it on. It can easily get on. It can easily be done. Okay. Well, anyways, y'all. I digress. Let me go because I got to go work again. Your girl got to go work. I got to go get this bag. Make that money, y'all. Don't let them, like I said, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. Don't let nobody talk you out your paper. Okay. Because I'm telling you, the people would be doing it. Uh, you do it. Baby, listen. Don't listen to them people. You won't talk yourself out of a bag. Talk yourself right on out of a bag. And a big one, too. People don't know what they're talking about. Listen to me. When you see people doing something, especially me, baby. Trust me, I'm getting paid some money, honey. And I'm not even joking. I don't care if y'all call it bragging or not. I don't care. Because... I'm going to talk about what I make, or not make, but I'm, I'm going to talk about what I do because I want other people to win because I know you can do it too, okay? And I think that for me, I feel that I'm in this position where I'm at because when I used to watch YouTube, I used to always say, wow, it would be nice if I can do that, if I can do it and I can tell somebody else how to do it. It doesn't matter, y'all. If they win it, them, them telling me what they accomplished from doing social media helped me to be able to accomplish the same thing but if you don't see i'm not gonna buy nothing or support nobody to ask me to support them when they ain't even making good on their money like literally you know what i'm like those um telemarketing people is it telemarketing i don't know what it's called when they trying to sell you something and it's on pyramid skids i mean pyramid um scams or whatever i don't know if they scam or whatever but they, they pyramid schemes or whatever y'all they be saying they making all this money and don't be driving nothing don't be living like nothing don't be dressing you be like are you really making that money because baby i'm from the show me state now if you telling me you driving this and driving that i'm a believer i see your driving i see your spending i see you doing it oh baby you doing something that looks good but even then you do have to be skeptical because you know you got a lot of people that be making them what making them the, the millions and then they end up being people that be stealing from elderly people you be like danger but anyway but i'm just saying all i'm just, my point i'm trying to make is that if you see somebody doing good and then they're not really and they and they willing to share what they've done i love those type of people baby let me know what you doing sis what you doing bro Please let me know, because I need to know. But anyway, that's why I be trying to tell y'all about this TikTok thing, because it I am no respect of a person, y'all. Anybody can do this stuff. Do you got a mouth? You got a mouthpiece? You got a mouth, right? Speak. If you know how to uh, sell a product, say, ba baby, this, get this product. This product is good. Let me show you how to work. Just like I showed y'all this thing. Anybody could have put some water on that and let it unravel and put wipe their hand. And people would have been like, oh, baby, I'm buying that. Because you know what? I would have been one of your purchasers. I would have been buying that, brother, right there. I'd be like, I'm buying that. And I'm about a big... Listen, I bought 200 of those. I'm like, I'm buying that. And it was like only... What was 200 I think I paid like $10, $15, if that. I don't know. It was very... Under 20 bucks. I know that. It was so inexpensive, y'all. But when I tell you... If you put something on there, I bought so many things from other people's pages. Like Yummy Bites. I would buy stuff from her. She buys stuff from me. Listen, it's just all about helping and supporting each other. It ain't nobody bigger than nobody. And if you do better in it, so what? So be it. That's for you to do. That's your time to shine. 
I don't just, I just don't get it. Help each other out. We can get this money, especially us. You know what I'm saying? If y'all get what I'm saying, we need it. We got to get it, okay? And it's out there for us, okay? So I just thought I would share that with y'all. And I don't listen to, like I said, don't listen, stop listening to them naysayers. Talking about this and that and where you think that way you think you should be, baby. Listen, one thing about it, I'm going to always put God first. And I'm always going to give the glory to God, regardless of what people may think. And I already know it's him that's, that has sustaining me and keeping me, me and my husband, where we at being successful and making this money. Just because my views ain't the same, baby, it don't even matter because I'm still making that paper. Trust and believe I'm still making that paper. I'm still got an M behind my name because of the way that me and my husband did it how we set it up and so with that being said i'm gonna continue to have that in behind my name and grow it and grow it more and more and bigger and bigger and better because i put god first and i always and i'm a hard worker me and my husband we are we are yeah if you don't shut up girl well think about it i hate my voice did y'all hate your voice i don't know i hate my voice i hate hearing my voice I do not like editing. I can't stand it. Hearing my voice. It's like my voice is like a squeaky voice. And people, I can be in a store, y'all. I could be talking to my husband. And somebody was saying, I recognize that voice. I knew that was you. I knew that was you. I said, Is my voice that this that different? I'm thinking I have an any time uh, my voice is like anybody else's. But y'all, apparently I got a voice that is unique. And I'm like, how? I don't think it's unique. I think it's like everybody else. And then I'm always out and I'll be like, ain't nobody going to notice me. I'm thinking that if I have a hat on or if I have like sunglasses or I have a hat on and it's making, it's not showing a lot, people still know who I am. And I'm thinking nobody ain't going to know. But it's not true, y'all. Not that I'm, uh, what you call that? What y'all want to say, a uh, A-lister. I am nowhere near a list. I am a Z-lister, so what you call it, the lower than the lowest low because I do social media. And I get that. I understand it. And I am cool with that because I would not want to be a Beyonce. Fantasia can't go nowhere. No, I can't do that. Or you can also be, you can actually be an A-lister in the social media. And that's nigga Cotto Avocado. When I tell you, that boy get people like, I mean... Everybody know him. Everybody know some nigga called avocado, okay? Everybody. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. I have been talking to y'all. That is letting me know that I haven't been on this YouTube platform for a while. It looks like it's going to rain out here, y'all. It's getting dark. But I love y'all because I'm going to post this right now. So, y'all getting real time, baby. This is what I got on today. So, when y'all watching this video, it's just be like, B had that. I'm wearing this today, baby. Okay? I'm wearing it today. I'm looking like this today. Everything is today, baby. I should go visit my husband at work. Should I stop by? Be like, hey, what y'all doing? What y'all doing over here? Y'all working? Ooh. I think, I think I'm going to do that. Anyways, I love y'all. I'm going to check in on them. And then me and him going to go out tonight. And y'all, listen, I still ain't full off that food. I don't think I'm full off that food. It has a, it ha, it's taken a while to register, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I love y'all with the love of... I don't, need to be, I don't even need to be going here. Literally, I just want to go there and check on them. But should I be really going there and checking on them? Because at the end of the day, your girl has to go and edit this video so I can get this video out to y'all. Yeah, I'm finna scratch that. Well, maybe I'll go. I'll go by real quick, 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 a quick second, and then head home and, and um, upload this. It's only one o'clock. Yeah, it's early, y'all. It's only twelve fifty-two here, so I'm gonna try to get this drop down to y'all by at least uh, earlier than three p.m. That's a good one, right? Three, <sighs> three, 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 three. I think so. I talked to my baby this morning. And um, well, I ain't say baby. He ain't no baby. I talk because uh, he he grown. He grown grown. Anyways, that's Darius. And then 
I try. I'm gonna call Daria Dalman later on today because you know I just gotta check up in on my boys. I gotta check up in on my babies, boys, my baby boys. I think that when they get older, they steal your babies, but you know it is what it is. That's just the mother thing in me, the mother hen, the mother hen hen. But anyways, I gotta check on. Well, I just check on in on them once in a while. My Dalvin gave me this, y'all. Dalvin gave me a birthday gift, right? This thing, I don't know, but it's called a chill pill. This thing works so good. I love that gift. I love it, love it, love it. And when he got it for me, I was like, this is something I would love. I needed that. I really did. I'm so happy he gave it to me. I'll talk about that thing today. I, I called him and he said, I knew you would like it. It's really nice. It's really nice. And it keeps all my sodas. I mean, y'all, it, it, it'll get your soda literally cold within two minutes. Kid you not. You can have a can of soda and it'd be, it be cold in two minutes. I thought it was so cool. He, he knows me. I like gifts that are, you know, I got everything. He knows that I have everything. So he tried to give me something that's, that I would like. That I would like, oh, my mom would think this is cool. I don't know. I like gadgets and gadgets. When I tell y'all I got every gadget and gadget in my house, there's nothing in my house that I don't have that's like in the kitchenware. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that you will use. Oh, I'm going to let y'all go because this is getting wobbly. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go because I'm pulling up to the warehouse. And I got my little key, my little uh, entering um my little not what is it called what is it called key fob that's what i'm trying to think of key fob on my keychain i hope they ain't gone if they gone they know well but they should still be there my niece and nephew there too i'm gonna see i'm gonna surprise them actually i probably just pick them up if 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 their mom wants to i love around being around kids there's something about them even though they're older I look at the out like yesterday they came to the house and, and Nate just came out of the house and I said, Oh y'all back because I was recording. And then I said, Well let me I said, Where the kids at? And he said in the car. I said, Well let me I went out to the car just to go see him. Just to say hi to them because I be missing them. I don't know, kids be making me bring youth to you. It makes you feel youthful. But I love them so much. They like my kids. Y'all know what I'm saying? They my kids. Right, and I love being around them. So when I'm not recording, I have them with me. I'll be like, "Okay, where the kids at? Let me have them." Oh, <sighs> because it just does something. Anyway, y'all, I keep on saying I must miss y'all. Cause listen, I keep on going and going, and happy y'all are off this video right now. You're like, girl. You doing too much of this. We ain't come for that. We came for the eating, not the talking. Right? And I do got to clean my teeth too. One thing about it. When you eating that food, baby, teeth stuff is going to get in your teeth. I, and I gave Darius my flosser. I gave him my um, water pick. I'm going to have to give me another one. Cause that did it say if you are not water flossing, brushing your tongue. I mean, uh, you got you ain't got a tongue scraper, a water flo flosser, and um, oil pulling, baby, your breath stank. <laughs> he was like, you ain't doing nothing, mm, baby. I must got some breath stinking breath. Cause I sure ain't got the um, I ain't doing the water pulling, water uh, flossing, which I'm gonna order me one today. I promise y'all. Oh, they still here. Let me go go over here and mess with them. They still here. They here. Yep, he's still here. I'm gonna go over here and say, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? What y'all smoking on? Ain't nobody smoking on nothing. See, I don't y'all run with this video and say they smoking over there. We ain't smoking nothing over here. We ain't smoking nothing. Oh. 
I'm up there trying to park. It ain't like it's a, a lot of cars here. <laughs> like I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to park in my parking lot. This is the parking lot. I'm trying to uh, park in this parking lot and it's empty. It's empty, y'all. Anyways, I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all must know I miss y'all because I ain't never been this long by myself. But I had a lot to talk about. We had a lot to talk about, baby. For those of you that loves me and y'all know, I know a lot of y'all rock with me and y'all would watch this video to the end because y'all my ride or dies, my number one ride or die. I know y'all still here. The other people that came to see the food eating, they was gone a long time ago. They're like, B, we just came here to eat. We don't want to hear all that. And sometimes they just don't. They ain't rocking with your girl like that. They like, girl, eat. And I'm out of here. Okay? I'm out of here. <sighs> anyway, I love y'all. With the love of the Lord, I want y'all to stay blessed, stay humble, stay nice to everybody around you. <clears throat> Keep God first in everything you do. That is my motto. And if it's working for me, it's going to work for you. If it's working for me, it's going to work for you, baby. <laughs> Listen, that stuff is getting to me. That's spray. But... I love y'all. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. I want some crab legs. I want boiled eggs. I want shrimp. I'm a bougie chick. A whole muck bang. Gotta have that lemon rain. And I do everything. It's smack delicious. Mmm.